I'm going to start off this induction with the first time I wanted to have sex with Joan Jett. At first, having this honor to induct Joan Jett into the legendary Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it was overwhelming. There was so much that I could say, and she has had a life in music that is rare. I was really gonna try not to cry and be tough, but that, that's, that's a little overwhelming there. Thank you very much. I come from a place where rock and roll means something. It means more than music, more than fashion, more than a good pose. It's the language of a subculture that has been made eternal teenagers of all who follow it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. I guarantee that someone somewhere will be very pissed off when I say this, and come on, what's more punk rock than pissing people off, when I say that one of my all-time favorite punk bands is Green Day. You know, I just, I love rock and roll music. I always have. As soon as I opened my eyes and took my first breath, I am a fan. And that's the one thing that I'm gonna close with is that I love rock and roll and I'll love it for the rest of my life. Thank you. It's a great honor uh, for me to be able to induce him. <laughs> oh, induct, yeah, okay. Into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame here in Cleveland tonight, Mr. Ringo Starr! You know, it's a great honor to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I also love that I got lucky that it's actually in Cleveland. Baby 